Alright, so here we go with some calorimetry. As you see on your paper, we're going to have a piece of metal. Okay, and I've got it right now down in here on my virtual balance. It's a piece of cesium metal, and you've got its mass right there because, of course, heat equals mass times specific heat times the change in temperature. So we've got our cesium metal there back in its dish. You got its mass. We'll bring it down here and drop it in the oven and we're heating it up to 100 degrees Celsius. That's 100, not 10, that's 100 degrees Celsius. That's the starting temperature for the metal. Okay, while we do that, we've got We've got our calorimeter here. We've got a little styrofoam cup. We'll turn on the thermometer. I already have 50 milliliters of water in there. Uh, let's pull this thermometer in. There we've got it. We've got a graph for that. There we go. Temperature, time. So you can see our graph starting to come along. 50 milliliters of water. Of course the density of water is 1 gram per milliliter, so that's 50 grams as well. And drop the lid over there. Now we need to drop our piece of metal in and see how much does the temperature go up by in that container. So let's... Right, so easily cleaned up. We'll just click the trash can over here. We need some new materials. Let's pick a different metal, huh? Uh, yeah, cesium will do that when it's dumped into water, heated or not. So there's our cesium. We'll skip that. That was annoying. Okay, uh, let's go with gold. I like gold, and since it's virtual, it doesn't bother me. Zoom out, grab our gold, and our calorimeter again that we blew up our first one. All right, coffee cup, gold. <coughs> Let's weigh our gold. A little piece of weighing paper there. Zero it out. There we go. And our gold. Good. We've got the mass of the gold, right? 51.0617 grams. Grab that sucker out of there. Bring it over. Again, heat the gold back up. This should work a little better. Whoops, I turned that off by accident. There we go. All right, we want this stirring, uh, but not yet. 50 milliliters of water automatically fills exactly to 50 milliliters. Kind of handy. Pour it in, measure the initial temperature again. 25.00 degrees Celsius. That doesn't happen in a real lab. Oh, 25.01. Look at that. 0, 0. Okay, it's fluctuating around. You write down a good starting temperature. Way more precision than we'd get in our actual lab. Well, in our magical lab, the gold should be hot, so we'll take the lid off. Open the oven. In goes the gold. And I need to be able to grab onto this lid. Sometimes it gives me some trouble. And it's not being very helpful to me right now. There we go. We've got the lid. We've got a nice plot there. We've got our temperature. 27 point. Looks like zero. Zero three. You want to record the highest temperature because, of course, over time this will start to drop off. I'm not going to have you sit here and watch that, but you can see our 25 jumped up. 27.03 looked like the highest temperature that we recorded. All right, so there we go. We had our gold. We had our temperatures. Gold again started at 100 degrees Celsius. Um, now you should be ready to go for class.